Welcome back. So today I thought that I'd take you guys along with me to another Dollar Tree and I just wanted to say grab your guys' notepads and a pen because this location had so many great items. So starting off right off the bat, I saw this wall that had all kinds of home decor. I was so excited when I saw this. I haven't seen this many decor items at Dollar Tree forever, I think, honestly. Um, they had so many great finds. These glass bottles were really pretty. I do believe that this B block has been here since the B collection came out, but I wanted to share it with those of you who haven't seen it. They also had these candle holders and they had three different finishes to them. They had silver, they had black and they had gold. And then, so these can be used either with votive candles, you could use tea light candles. They have the battery operated ones right next to it. This is also one of the B line items. Um, it looks like a honeycomb candle holder. Now this is the first time that I've seen these word block signs, I would call them. They do look a little cheap on the back side, but if you are just putting it like on a bookshelf or maybe in an entryway, I think that it would look really good. I really loved these little rainbows. I liked how they were light. I think those would look great in a baby's nursery or maybe a little girl's room. Now these are new to me as well. I haven't seen these. I think that they look really nice except I don't know about the pegs that are holding them up. What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure that that love sign has been here for a while but this one was new to me. And then these are little signs that you can just put little pictures in. Maybe have them on a bookcase, on a shelf. You could have them in an office. That would even look really cute on like a um, entry table if you have a table in your entryway. Now I thought that these were really cute. I love how they did the beading in between each block. I thought that, that was really cool. And then here are some little metal signs. Now you could put these in the middle of wreaths if you wanted to. I will say they are a little flimsy but I loved how they had faith. Enjoy would be kind of cute in a kitchen. Now when I first saw this, I had no idea what it was, but it's actually just like a wall decor piece. So it is plastic, it kind of feels like one of their frame materials, and then the little knob at the bottom looks glass, but I want to say it's plastic. I can't remember. Now they had a lot of these little just tabletop decors, and I really think that they would look nice. I keep repeating myself with shelves and bookcases, entry tables, end tables. Honestly, they would look good anywhere, um, but I just, I thought that that was a really cute little line that they came out with. So this set is my favorite thing that I saw on this Dollar Tree trip. This is a new kitchen line called Simply Blessed. I absolutely love it. I love the color coordination, the designs. I love the wording. I really like the leafing design around it. Now, I do want to mention that their hot pads are more for decorative reasons than to actually use them. They don't work the greatest. Now, this is their salad plate for the line. I absolutely love it, you guys. Let me know what you think. I do want to mention that this is some sort of ceramic or stoneware. Um, so this can actually be washed in the dishwasher and it is microwavable safe. At my location, they only had one dinner plate available. They were really low on everything. Here is the mug that goes along with it. I will say I'm not a huge fan of Dollar Tree mugs. I think it's the style cup. And then um, here is the bowl. They also had some serving trays to go along with the set. They had this oblong size. Now this one is not food safe and neither is this serving tray. Now I'm pretty sure if you put something like a liner on the top, you could put food on it. Here is another dish line that they have. Now this is plastic. I checked the back here to see if it was dishwasher safe and microwavable safe and it is not, so you wanna hand wash this. But I thought that this one was pretty cool, especially if you have younger kids and you don't want 
actual breakable dishes. You can get these. The only downfall, obviously, is you have to hand wash them. Um, but they did have this salad plate. They had the dinner plate here. They had the charger, actually. I don't know if I'm too fond of the center part of that charger. I think if it was just plain, it would have looked nicer. Um, and then they had these bowls. Here is the second set of plastic dishes. The only thing that they were missing out of this line was the mugs. Now here is something pretty cool. These look really nice. I thought that these would look so beautiful in a master bedroom, on your dresser, on your nightstands, maybe if you have a vanity that you get ready at. I thought that they were really pretty. They have carried these in multiple different ways. Um, usually they have like characters on them, but this is just a plain silver one. I do wanna mention they are very flimsy, so you can do them pretty easily. I found these little placemats that match the plastic dishes only in the two colors here. And then they had these little canvas totes. Now this seems to be a little bit larger than the ones they typically carry, but they are just as flimsy. So if you are gonna put something light in here, not overfill it, I think it would be fine, but it is a little on the flimsy side. These caught my eye. They are little frosted glass vases, they look like. You could just put like a couple little flowers in here if you have a garden. I think that that would look really nice like on a kitchen sink in front of a window. They also had these two styles in votive candle holders, which were really nice. Now this I had never seen either. I found a lot of new items here, you guys, on this um, trip to the Dollar Tree but they had so many different items. This would be really cool in an entryway. Maybe you could hang your keys on it. They had some just little wooden signs here. I love their wooden signs, especially when they put the wooden beads on the little hanger. Um, the only thing I will say with the Dollar Tree is I find that a lot of their things get scratched up. I wish that there was a way that they can, I don't know if it's how they box them or just people not taking care of them when they're looking through items. Um, but this is really cute, this little home sign. They also had this welcome sign. They are made of wood, very cute. Again, those can go in the center of a wreath. Here are some more signs to just hang throughout your house in a hallway maybe. Now that was not made of light wood. I don't know what it was. It kind of felt like plaster. Alright, so we're heading down to the back to school aisle. They mostly had the same items. I want to say that these were basically the new things that I saw. I don't remember seeing all of the variations of composition books on my last trip to the Dollar Tree, so I just wanted to share some of these with you guys to show you the new designs for this year. I think that the puppy ones and the cat ones are cute every single year. They just catch my eye. But there's definitely choices for any child with any type of personality. I think that there's a composition book for everybody. These have to be my favorite. I just love the old school basic composition books and they have every single color. Here is an expandable little file folder. I thought it had different compartments, but it is just the single one. This does feel a little on the cheap side, so just again, don't overstuff that with too many items. Now this is a notebook with three subjects. This is just a regular good old notebook, but it's smaller. And then this one had the two subjects. Those are both smaller size. This paper was actually really good quality in this notebook here. Here are the different color variations in that specific notebook. And then they also had the jot that had the spiral binding along the top, which is pretty cool. Now the paper inside is on a thinner paper, so I wanted to kind of point that out to you guys, but here are the different variations and colors. 
I'm just doing a quick glance through more of the back to school items just to see if there's anything new, anything that it maybe I missed the first time. Now this is new to my store. This goes with the set or the collection. Okay, you guys, I cannot remember for the life of me if this is new or if it has been around. I want to say I've seen it before, but when I first initially looked at it, I was so excited because I, I thought it was new. So let me know down in the comments, but this is perfect if you homeschool, if you're a teacher, if you do a lot of art with your kids, you could put different paintbrushes and things in those pencils, color pencils, markers. I mean, it's, you guys could do endless things with that thing. Now we're moving into the items that you can use for lunches. Now I really like these because they come with an ice pack but it clicks into your lid, which I think is genius. So they had all different sizes, all different shapes and different colors. So I'm just gonna share all the different varieties that they have at this particular store. These are yogurt parfait containers. I love them, I have them, and I use them. Now, if you are new to my channel, I spend hours in the Dollar Tree and I literally look at everything. And on this end cap, I found these. These are new. They go with the collection that I shared some of last Dollar Tree walkthrough, but they have four different variations to it, and I think that they're really cute. They are a smaller plastic, like vinyl type pencil pouch. Yep, they're coming out with Thanksgiving and fall items already, you guys, so keep your guys' eyes open because you know how fast these things fly off the shelves, even before the season is actually here. These little animals caught my eye. They would look so cute. And if you have like a pop out window in your kitchen, they would look perfect to just like to decorate that section of your home. They have these different types of pumpkins. This caught my eye because I love coffee and it's coffee cash. You could put some money in there to save up. I think that that's so cute. Now these are solar operated lights. How cute would they be in a garden? Again, they have some more little woodland creatures. I just love these. I think they're so precious and so cute. If you have a garden you could probably even stick them outside in the garden even if you have like large plants or trees in your house you can put these in the pots sitting next to it i think it'd look really cute in um maybe like more of a tree even if you have artificial ones i think it'd look really cute all right so down the book aisle i found this wrinkle in time activity book so I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that that is a movie. I really feel like the book section is like a hit or miss. We really don't have a lot of actual books at these Dollar Trees that I shop at. Um, but once in a while, they'll get some things in that I really, really like. They also had the day the world went nuclear. I thought that this was very interesting. I thought it'd be kind of cool for a homeschooling family or somebody that's like a history buff. So I wanted to share this. And then here is the strange case of Jekyll and Hyde. I thought that this looked really cool. I may just use these pages in a junk journal. I'm not quite sure yet, but I thought that this was pretty cool. So moving right along through my Dollar Tree, you guys. Let's see. Here are some of the new planners that are coming out. They have a lot of different ones, but this is one that I haven't seen or shared. It just has weekly and then monthly. Now, I think that this is new to the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen a journal that looks like this with the blank pages with the border. I really liked that, so I wanted to share it. Okay, now I'm going down the educational aisle, so I don't really think they had anything that was new, but these pencil boxes 
looked a little new to me. I don't remember if they were here last year, but I like how they have the snap closure um, because it's a tighter snap and they did feel a little sturdier than the one next to it. See the pink lid next to it. Um, I think that these were a little bit of a sturdier plastic. Now I love these little journals. I've shared them. I don't know how many times they're like blank pages inside for your younger kiddos. They could draw, they could write. I just, I think that they're pretty cool. Now these stickers are new. I don't know if they're worth $1.25. You just get this sheet. There's not multiple sheets. So I don't think I would spend $1.25 on them, but they're really cute. Here's a pen. It is a name brand, so I wanted to share it. It does only come with one. Now here is more of that one particular set that I shared last week. And again, this goes with the set. These are like little, I don't even know what these are, like little flashcards maybe, but they're blank. They don't have lines. They are a little smaller. They have this cording on it that looks like what you would tie to or connect to a cell phone or iPad, which I know you don't do that with this, but that's what it reminded me of. I don't know what that's used for. And then they only had these two sets of erasers for the set. They had these little sticky tabs. They had all four which was pretty cool. I wish that they would put all of the set together in one area in the store. I think that that would be really cool and make it so much easier for us to find the whole set. Now these little journals are not new to Dollar Tree, but I just, I think the quality of them are really nice. I do kind of wish they had different designs on the front, maybe some plainer designs, but these would be perfect just to throw in your bag, in your purse. You could write grocery list, notes, errands that you have to run. Even if you do like to journal, this would be perfect for journaling or if you have kids that like to journal. All right, down the sticker aisle, one of my favorites. They didn't have too many new options, but I'm going to share here what I did find. I think I lied to you guys now that I'm editing. I didn't realize how many new items they had, but they really did have quite a few. So now I've moved down to the crafting aisle and I found these three packs of glitter. I love that they come with the three options. We have the fine, the medium, and the chunkier glitters. Here are some bead packs. These are perfect for crafting. You could even junk journal with these if you're doing tassels um, or little charms, something like that. They had different colors. They also had this fabric paint. I have not seen this before. I don't know if it's a good deal, one bottle for $1.25, so that's something you may wanna check out at your nearest you know, hobby store. Here are some new fabrics that I found. They also had this embroidery thread. They had these embroidery needle cushions, which I think are so cute. I love that flowered one. They have a pack of sewing thread. I'm not sure the quality of this. I also saw these little wood carving knives. Now, I don't think I've seen this one here before. I really like this. I think it's super nice. It looks like it's more expensive than finding it at the Dollar Tree. You could definitely use that on a tear tray or on some sort of shelving unit. Now this little set of decals for your wall is new. I haven't seen the Minecraft yet. I do think that this would be great for crafting as well. And then they also have this gold leafing. Now when I first walked through the store and I saw this one here, I thought that it was new. But now that I'm looking at it again, I feel like I may have seen this before, maybe at a different store. But I think I've seen it before, so it's probably been around for a while. 
I went down the little pet aisle and I found these little frames for a cat and for a dog. I think that it is so precious. Those are really cute. So if you have a dog lover or a cat lover, those would be perfect. They also had this wooden carved believe sign. Now I really liked these. They had three different kinds with different like geometric shapes and they're different colors and I love the natural look. And then they also had these vases that kind of were similar. So if you had a room with this more neutral setting, um, I think that these would look really great in there as decor. I had to share this because this is new to my Dollar Tree. Let me know if you guys have this at your Dollar Tree now. I think that's awesome because when I go to the Dollar Tree for holidays, especially like Christmas and stuff like that, I have to go other places to get gift cards and it is perfect that they have it all in one spot and they had so many different selections. So I love that they have this. Let me know if you guys have one in your guys' store. All right, so I went down the snack aisle just to kind of share some things that I had seen that I haven't seen there before. I wonder how, if anybody's tasted those. Let me know. Who has eaten these? My dad loves those candies. They have some popping candy, different types of nerds. Here are some Warheads. They had a whole bunch of different variations on the Warhead candy, so I wanted to share them all with you guys. All right, so down on one of the end caps near, I think it was like the cleaning aisle, they had these really cute decorative trays. These would be perfect to put on a dresser. You can put jewelry in them. You can put your cell phone or your watch, maybe next to your nightstand. You could even have this on an entry table and put, you have your husband put like his wallet and his keys there. Here's just some little tabletop decor. They had these little crosses and on the back, they have the little stand, kind of like a frame where you pop out the stand and you can stand it up. I thought those were really cute. And then this was new. I hadn't seen this either. I feel like they're coming out with so many more home decor pieces, which I love. All right, so I found this little mason jar. I love that it has this copper lid. I really think that that looks nice. I like the etching in the glass. I do wish it would be, it was bigger. I would have gotten it for my coffee. And then I saw this, it's a glass with a lid. I thought that that was kind of cool. Maybe you're drinking some milk or your kids are and they don't finish it and you want to put it in the fridge for later or a soda so it doesn't go flat. I love that. We don't really have soda in the house, but if you do. So this mason jar was new to me. I hadn't seen this one either. It's more of a square shape, which I really love, and it has a silver lid. So if you want to do some organizing in your pantry, that would be great. I found this end cap near the beauty section and it had all different types of hair supplies. So hair scrunchies, hair ties, clips. I really think that it is from a bigger store. The brand is Sophie. I'm gonna have to look it up. Let me know if you guys know where this brand came from, but the quality seems pretty nice and they actually had a huge selection. Moving right along and down to the toothbrushes and toothpaste aisle, 
I found these little replacements for the Guru brand. And then I saw these um, Fisher Price toothbrushes I thought were really cool for a beginner brusher. And then here are some of the choices for some kid toothbrushes. I thought that these were different. I think the toothbrush head like pops out of those. I'm not sure, it says poppin'. So I thought that those were different. And then I saw this lip repair by New Color. New Color is a nail polish brand, so I'm not sure how well those work. And then we have some Chap Ice. That is a name brand for some chapstick. These were new. These connect to your sunglasses or your glasses. I thought that these were different. They look like maybe more of like an athletic style, maybe if you're at the pool or the lake or something like that. Then they have these dainty little flowered ones for glasses. And then I found this silver and gold chain. All right, so these are new to me. These are feminine products by Be Pure. They're different overnight pads, regular pads. I believe they had panty liners. And it says that it's all um, like good products. It says, I'll show here, no dyes, no chlorine, and no added fragrances. So that is really cool to see at the Dollar Tree. I was really happy to see that. Let me know if you guys have tried these and how they work. I think these are the panty liners. So I was kind of excited to see these at the Dollar Tree, especially a clean line. So I've headed down the beauty aisle where they have nails and makeup. I saw these really cute Barbie nails, the princess nails for your little youngsters. They also had these, these are more for a kid's size or a young, I would say preteen maybe. I saw these two different styles by LA Colors. They were really cute, so I wanted to share them with you. I also saw that Ioni put out these tweezers. They look pretty good. I saw this little collection of beauty blenders and I thought that the packaging was so adorable with all the little different animals. If you know a bride or bride-to-be, this would be perfect for them for a gift. They also have these new manicure sets that you can just throw in your car, throw in your purse, backpack, maybe baby bag. Then I always have to check out their journals on the end cap. I thought that these were really pretty with a metal spiral binding and I love all of the floral. I had to share this next notepad with you because it's different from the other notebooks. On the inside, it's lined color paper, and I think that that is pretty awesome, so I wanted to share it with you. I know that kids could definitely appreciate it. I know I appreciate it. Then I found these really cool puzzle books. These would be perfect for gifts if you're looking for Easter basket fillers, stocking stuffers, um, you could even bring these maybe to like children hospitals, elderly homes. This would be pretty cool just to gift to anybody. I think the covers really make it look, I don't know, more expensive. Then I saw these 250 plus stickers. Okay, so the reason I'm sharing is because of this page here. I love the page of the phones. The other stickers are still really cute, but that phone page, just of all the older vintage looking phones, I think that that's pretty cool. I had to share it with you guys again. <laughs> then they have these little change pockets. These are pretty cute for your young girls. Um, they had all these variations in colors. They also had these pom-pom headbands, super adorable. I know my daughter would have loved these when she was younger. So I wanted to share them. I like how they have the two-toned colors. Is it for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and coming along with me on this dollar tree shop with me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment give me a like it really helps me and my channel but i hope to see you guys in the next one so be safe and be blessed